Okay, so this is Divine Masculine's reading for this week. This is part two. And I'm almost done. Almost, almost. Um, two of Pentacles. Is this Divine Masculine? Yep. Six of Wands. Is this Divine Masculine? Yeah. Five of Cups. Is this Divine Masculine? <clears throat> yep. Mm -hmm. Is this Five of Cups of the past? Yeah. Yep. Is that a pass? Um. Divine Masculine. I don't know if you was doing something in the past. And the police. Is something involving the police? Something could have happened. Something involving the police. <clears throat> but this, this energy right here. This energy right here is letting me know this is what happened in the past. This is what happened in the past, Divine Masculine. You was five of cups. Emotional regrets and losses. You was heartbroken. I don't know if you was doing something, Divine Masculine, involving romance. And you could have got caught involving a third party. Or you could have caught one of your lovers with somebody else. This could have this could be in romance. It don't have to be. There's three of swords. Um, I'm not picking up romance too much, though. So, this could very well be Divine Masculine. It's like you just... Your feelings hurt. Three of Swords. That's heartbreak. And it was because you did something risky. You did something risky. Doing something risky, taking a chance. So, you took a chance. And I, I'm... You ended up five cups and three swords. And it could have very well involved the law. So, I don't know, Divine Masculine, if you was doing something illegal, selling drugs, pushing weight. I don't know what this is. But, um, the chariot is definitely, the chariot is definitely, like, the police. I don't know. Um, so now, this could be your past, Divine Masculine. You could have been doing something illegal. This could be theft. This could be robbery. This could be selling drugs. But whatever it was, you was doing something risky. You were taking a chance. I don't know. And then we got the police here, the chariot. So I don't know if you could have went to prison and it made you a better person. And it's like, now you're the King of Cups. You're very intuitive. I got with this King of Cups. You know, you're like awakened. You're aware of karma and how karma works. Something like that. Yeah. So like I said, Divine Masculine, in the past, if you used to be a thief, it's like in the present, if you decide to still go down that route, what I'm getting, you learning about karma. You learned about karma. So it's like if you is still stealing from people, or whatever you did. I don't know if you the type of person you steal from your job or whatever. Or you a little crook or whatever. I'm getting from this energy. You know not to take too much. Because you don't want that karma. So if you is going to take something. It's going to be a, 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 a an amount you can afford. An amount you can bounce back from. So you can recover from your karma. Something like that. So you won't end up in jail. <clears throat> Cause you know, even in um, what I want to say, in like criminal court, and what they call that, like small community court, things like that. It depends on the amount that you know. It depends on the amount that's stolen. To it depends. So it it just depends on amount on the amount. So it's like you learning how to count up, like weigh out the pros and cons. Like, I'm going to take this 200. I know I took it. So, it's like, even if I get caught, I know, you know, if they take me to court, you know, i probably get uh, um, community service or whatever, six months probation. So, it's like, you know not to take 20,000 because, you know, 20,000, okay, now we in fed time. We doing fed time. So, something like that you just learned. So, we got in the present, you two pentacles. Two pentacles. Um, two pentacles. Is this the... I don't know. Divine Masculine, you juggling something. You juggling something. 
It can be an idea. You're juggling something. You juggling an end idea. This could be you juggling um, work, love, or life. Like I said, Divine Masculine, you could have kids, be married, and you working. Or you juggling possibly two employment options. Something like that. But whatever this is you doing in this Two of Pentacles energy, you got to seek out information that will help you. You got to seek out information that will help you. And um, this Six of Wands could sometimes be something being brought to your attention. So, Divine Masculine, in this Six of Wands energy, you realize something. And I think you realize you have to seek out information that will help you. So, this is like you having a conversation with yourself. This is like you figuring something out from within. So, this is you like, you whatever you're doing in this Two of Pentacles, you're doing it. But it's like you figure out, oh, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me go get some advice. Let me go see if I can get somebody to help me with this. So this is like something going on within you. You realize something about yourself. And I think it is that you, I think you realize you got to seek out information that can help you. Um, Two of Pentacles. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm trying to figure out what it is. You know what I'm going to do? Divine Masculine. I'm just being nosy. Um, I bought me a deck and it's called Issues. Issues deck. Um, I'm going to get back to that Two of Pentacles. Because I want to know what you... I'm going to try to figure out what you're juggling. This could be two people. This could be two places, two things, two business opportunities. But, I mean, you, you would know. You watching the video, you would probably know. So, this is Divine Masculine reading for this week. For Divine Masculine. Whew, let me see. I want to see what was going on in the past. What was this going on with Divine Masculine in the past? Why was he in Five of Cups? What was the issue? Selfish. Yep. All about your own pleasure. Yep. So, you was doing something, but you was being selfish. You was being selfish. And I'm getting Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Whatever you was doing, like I said, this could have been illegal theft, robbery, selling drugs, whatever this was. It don't have to be something illegal. It could have just been being your attitude. Um, and you could have lost employment or like business because of your attitude. You was being selfish. You probably didn't want to compromise with your business partner. Something, you was being selfish. Um, but I'm getting... You're learning how to consider, because you probably married Divine Masculine, or you got kids. And it's like, when you was doing what you was doing in the past, you wasn't thinking about them. You wasn't thinking about, oh, you know, if I get caught, you know, what's going to happen to my kids, what's going to happen to my wife. You wasn't thinking about nobody but yourself, you was being selfish. So it's like, now in the present, you know how to think before you do something. It's like you're intuitive. You're in your feminine energy. The queen of pentacles is very um, considerate. She's very considerate of others. She don't play no game. She's not a dummy. But she's very considerate and mindful of others around her. So, what was going on with Divine Masculine with Tiger? Doing He was doing something risky, taking a chance. What, what was the issue? What was going on with this? Okay. No trust. Major trust issues. So, Divine Masculine, you was doing something risky. Huh. Okay. You didn't. You probably didn't trust people. Divine Masculine, if you married, you probably didn't trust your wife. So, it's like before, it's like you made a, a decision, a foolish decision, and it's like you didn't consult with your wife. Because you didn't trust her. This could be you thinking you you know because you the man. You probably felt as though you didn't have to um get her input. So you did something risky and you should have trusted somebody. Somebody you did not trust, you should have trusted them. Somebody you should have trust, you should have trusted them. What was going on with this three of swords with Divine Masculine in the past? 
What was going on with this Three of Swords? What was the issue with Divine Masculine in the past with this Three of Swords? What did it say? Inconsiderate? Yeah. Thoughtless and self-centered, unfair and unkind. Yep. Inconsiderate. Thoughtless and self-centered, unfair and unkind. So that's how you got, yeah. That's how you ended up Three Swords. Some type of heartbreak you had. <clears throat> this could have also been divine feminine, divine masculine. If this is in business, you could have did something that cost your business partner some heartache. You could have did something because you was being inconsiderate. So it could have cost your business, your business partner or your homie or your friend, your boy. Um... What's the issues with, with Divine Masculine with the Four of Pentacles coming out sideways and the King of Pentacles coming out sideways? What is this? Vibe Killer. Knows how to lower your energy. Happiness Assassin kills your vibes. Yeah. So Divine Masculine, it's something you doing to yourself emotionally. And like I said, I'm getting from this energy right here. With this king of pentacles coming out sideways and the four of pentacles coming out sideways. It's all in how you look at a situation. Because I'm getting you to in what you could have lost divine masculine. You suffer a loss. But it wasn't really a loss. You probably suffer a loss, but it was to make you a better person. You suffer a loss, but you gain clarity. You, you gain some knowledge, some wisdom. You gain maturity. Um, but I'm getting your ego. Your ego could be bu bruised a little bit. It's, I'm getting this more your ego than any anything divine masculine. But this vibe killer, you doing this to yourself. Because it's all in how you looking at the situation. You probably, you probably, oh, yeah. It's all in how you look at a situation. It's like, don't kill your own vibe. Don't kill your, you killing your own vibe. You know how to lower your energy, your own happiness assassin, and you kill, kill your vibes. Yeah, so it's all in how you look at it. Are you going to look at the situation half as the cup being half full or the cup being half empty? Yeah, you could have lost some money. Yeah, you could have lost some friends. Yeah, your, your ego got bruised, but you're a better person. You're a better person. It made you a better person. So let me put, let me see. So I'm going to put what's the T. I'm going to put what's the T. Let me put some what's the T on. I want to know what that two of pentacles is and then I'm going to be done. Divine Masculine reading for this week. Yeah. Divine Masculine's reading for this week. What's the tea with this Two of Pentacles? What is Divine Masculine juggling? What is he doing? What is these Two of Pentacles? What is he juggling? Threatening. Intimidating. Threatened. Bothered. Okay. So Divine Masculine... I don't know. You could be juggling the idea of getting back into your ego. You could be getting tested this week. You could be getting tested this week. You could be getting tested. Um, Yeah. Threatening. Because you juggling the idea of threatening someone. Yeah. You're juggling the idea of I'm asking of threatening someone. Yeah, you tempted to get back in your ego. Because here it come. Here come that ego. Your past. This the past. This was you. You were six wands. The past is like narcissistic. Ego tripping. So you juggling You juggling something. And it's like the old you know. Here, they, here it come. That's your ego. Mm-hmm. But Divine Masculine. It's saying seek out information that can help you. <laughs> This, mm. so you juggling the idea of um threatening someone. 
I don't know if you got a habit of misunderstanding people or you just very insecure. So you could either be feeling threatened by something or someone and here come your ego. Here it come. That's your ego. That's the old you. It ain't even that serious, Divine Masculine, but you're going to make it that serious. Um, so you're either being tempted, you're juggling the idea of threatening someone, or you're taking something the wrong way and you feel threatened. That's why I say seek out information that can help you, that will help you. Lord, have mercy. What's the tea with this King of Cups? What's the tea with the King of Cups? This is you, Divine Master. What's the tea with this King of Cups? <clears throat> yeah, fishing for comments came out sideways. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Who? I don't. Hmm. Divine Masculine, you, you're, you a better person. Whatever your weaknesses was in the past, you have evolved. But I'm getting this week, you're going to be tempted to go back to the same person you was in the past. Or go back to that same mindset. So, for example, Divine Masculine, if you have mental health issues, you probably haven't been taking your meds. So, mm, whatever your issue is, it's, it's trying to creep back up. It's trying to creep back up. So, like I said, Divine Masculine, if you have mental health issues and you know you have a regimen with your doctor... Your therapist, counselor, and you probably haven't been taking your meds. This week, you probably want to start. Because it's letting me know whatever the Six of Wands is, it's coming back. It's coming back. Because this Divine Masculine, I don't know if you... Because it's like you fishing for comments. And I don't know if these comments is not even there. But it's like you got emotional mastery. I don't know if you always think somebody coming up against you or you could have been very paranoid in the past. I don't know if you got en enemies, Divine Master, because of whatever you was doing in the past. And it's like you be paranoid because you having a hard time fishing for comments. So it's like, what is you looking for? So, for example, what I'm getting, Divine Master, from this energy... You, this week or in the past, you got some karma. You could have been doing stuff to people or treating people a certain type of way, work, love, or life. <clears throat> and it's like you got karma and it was embarrassing. So it's like sometimes you get like paranoid or very egotistical because it's like you want to gain back your masculinity or prove a point because of what happened to you in the past. Something like that I'm getting. Because it's like you having a hard time fishing for comments. But it's like I'm, ain't no comments there. Like It's like Divine Master, ain't nobody thinking about you like that. It's like whatever happened to you in the past, it happened. Like you're thinking about it. Other people is not thinking about it. So, for example, Divine Master, say like you was cheating on your wife like five years ago. You was cheating on your wife, mistreating her. She left you. Left you for another man. Left you for a better man, a richer man, a more confident man. And it's like all your boys was clowning you for like the first year. Because you left, you you know, you lost your wife. And it's like, in the present, it's like you struggle with that. Because it was embarrassing because your wife left you. So it's like you trying to hide your emotions. It's like you gain emotional mastery. But it's like you fishing for comments. And it's like, ain't nobody... It's like, that's old. It happened. You you know, you just got some karma. And it's like, ain't nobody thinking about that. You thinking about it. Um, give me, what's the tea with, um, death and the queen of pentacles? What's the tea with this? What's the tea with death and the queen of pentacles? Yeah, impersonator. Wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, copies you. <clears throat> yeah, Divine Masculine. Whew. This impersonator, Divine Masculine, could let me know you suffer from um, paranoia. 
I don't know if you you think people be following you or you could be a little conceited. And it's like, you think people isn't... Oh, boy. I'm picking up a little bit of mental health, too. You've gotten better. That's what I'm, Whatever your issue is, Divine Masculine, you have gotten better. You have evolved. But this week, it's starting to come back a little bit. Like the old you. It's starting to creep back up. So, impersonator. I don't think... It... Oh, but this is over. This is what's over. Oh, okay, so that ended. Yeah, I'm getting like a little bit of paranoia. A little bit of paranoia. Divine Masculine, I don't know if you suffered from some type of trauma in the past. Some identity theft. And it was like you was always paranoid or you didn't want to let something go. But whatever this is, you could have been like this in the past. You could have been impersonating somebody. But it's like you evolved from that. Because you got some karma. Yeah, that's... Yeah, like you... Yeah. You was impersonating somebody. Like being a con artist. Yeah. But it's like you evolved from that. And you could be paranoid. You Because you could have been a con artist. You probably got people for money. And it's like... You paranoid. You suffer from paranoia. But it's like, you the king of cups. So it's like, you know how to control it. Emotional mastery. You know how to control it. And like, this week, Divine Masculine, it's going to be hard for you to get into that paranoia state. Because it's like, you evolving. So this is like, you thinking somebody following you home. And it's like, you know what? I'm not even going to look. Because ain't nobody following me. I'm not going to look. Because ain't nobody following me. So it's like emotional mastery. Like you're controlling your imagination. The, that water. That water back there? That's like imagination. Fantasy. Hallucinations. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that going on. Mm. Yep. So... That's what's going on with you, Divine Master. It's a lot of scenarios out here. So, Divine Master, you know, if it resonates with you, that's fine. If it didn't resonate, that's fine, too. Take what fits and leave the rest. Because I know I was jumping a little bit because so much stuff was coming out. So, it's a, it's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of everything up here. So, um, again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. As well, Divine Masculine, please keep in mind that time is fluid. So this energy can manifest this week or it can manifest later on down the line of time. As well, sometimes the readings could be something that happened in the past, but it's still coming out in the present. And um, you got to figure out what spirit want to tell you. It's a message in it. So it's like, if this is what happened to you in the past, it's a reason why it's coming out in the present reading. And, you know, if you want to, you got to figure out what spirit trying to tell you. Why is the past coming back up in the future? It's for a reason. Um, but spirit, I don't know, spirit just probably wanted to reveal it to you to, to remind you how, how far you have come. And to be thankful, to thank him, thank the most high because he had brought you this far. Because I'm getting a little bit, this divine masculine, this energy suffer from some type of mental health issue. And it could be like paranoia, a little bit of schizophrenia maybe. I'm picking that up too. Um, If it's not that, it's just like very narcissistic. Very narcissistic. Um, So again, Blood Queen, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Um, thank you, Divine Masculine.